What's going on guys? Welcome to today's video. Uh, just quick little uh, tips here before I get into the video. If you guys don't know about my channel or whatever, hit the subscribe button. I do stuff like travel, travel tips and advice and tech reviews. So if you guys are really, really interested in that kind of stuff, hit that subscribe button. So let's get right into the video. So today's video, I'm gonna give you guys 10 tips on how to get your first 100 subscribers on YouTube. I'm gonna give you guys 10 tips in order to do so. So today's video is how to get your first 100 subscribers on YouTube in under a week. And I'm gonna tell you guys how to do that in 10 tips. All right, tip number one, have a niche. Find out what your niche is, find out what you're passionate about and go for it. If you do not have a niche, if you don't understand what the word niche means, it means find out what you love to do and go and do it. If you like photography, go with photography. Stick with photography. If you like tech reviews, go with tech reviews. Find your niche. You have to find your niche. That is something that you must find and seek out. Once you have found that, it will lead to amazing possibilities. All right, so tip number two. Tip number two is brand your channel. So from the start, if you're just trying to get 100 subscribers and you can really do this in a week. So look at your channel and go, would this be good if I was a visitor visiting my channel? Like, what can I do to make it better? What, what kind of social media, what kind of art, what kind of links have I provided? So do you have Facebook, do you have Instagram, do you have a website, do you have Patreon, do you have other ways uh, Amazon affiliate account like you have those things in order to brand your channel building a brand is one of the biggest things in as far as uh, Being an entrepreneur and having a business you have to have a brand and your brand has to be good In order to do that is you have to have good art and you have also have to have a good visual Design and look at your channel and and go to YouTube, your YouTube channel and look at it and go is that good? Or is that bad? And change it if you don't like it change it you know so branding is another huge huge tip that you have to do in order to be getting your first 100 subscribers tip number three so tip number three I would tell you would be more of a simplified one this is a tip that a lot of people don't necessarily do or some people don't believe in it but that's sub for sub so if you go on and you watch some videos and you you write in the comments below saying hey um, I'm looking for people to support my channel. I'm willing to support you. Go sub for sub. Just, just try it out. You'll be surprised how many subscribers you will get. And once you get to that 100 mark, don't do sub for sub anymore. It is not worth it. You just want to build your initial 100 people. And then once you get to 100 people, then you can start creating your content even better. So I recently just got to 100 subscribers and that was one technique that I use in order to get there. So yeah, so literally just go to all your favorite YouTubers and uh, ask sub for sub. Or go to videos like this one um, and just comment below, say sub for sub, simple as that. Tip number four would be create videos that entertain and benefit your viewers. You need to post videos that are gonna keep your viewers entertained. No one wants boring videos, no one wants videos that are about you know, stupid things like be specific and upload videos that are entertaining. Have something that's funny, have something that's entertaining. Go out and do something that you're passionate about, something that you enjoy doing because I guarantee you it will be entertaining to other people. Are you, are you being entertaining? That's the one thing that I can say about videos is the first 30 seconds to a minute of a video are the most important part of uploading a video. That's where your audience retention rate is going to start to decline. After it goes about a minute, that's when they start to either stop watching or they get bored of your video. So your first 30 seconds to one minute are the most important parts to your video when you're uploading. All right, so tip number five. Tip number five would be Find your top YouTubers and go through the comments section. So find your top YouTubers that you like to watch, that you're passionate about watching and that you learn from them on a daily basis. Go through the comments. You know why I say this? A lot of people do not do this and this is one way that I got to 100 subscribers and I think it's another way that I'll get to with the next 
which my next goal, which is a thousand subscribers. And that is being consistent on commenting. It's that simple. Go to other videos and comment on what people are saying. Reply to them, give them good feedback, say hello. You know, just saying hello, they're gonna go, oh, this guy's nice, uh, let's go check out his channel. Just whatever they're asking, make sure you give them a, a positive reply and make sure you're nice and friendly and professional about it. And you would be surprised, guys, how many people will come to your channel and hit that subscribe button and be loyal fans to your channel. That is probably one of the best tips that I can give you on getting your first 100 subscribers. Tip number six would be, when you're about to upload your videos, have someone give you positive feedback about it. So before you upload it, get one of your friends or get one of your family members or someone to watch it and ask them to watch the whole video and then ask some questions about after you're posting your video, when you lost your interest, what I did wrong, how I can improve my video. Those are the three things that you should be looking at when you're about to upload your video. Get someone to criticize your video. Get someone to actually who doesn't know anything about YouTube, like just completely blank about it and goes, oh, this video is not funny or oh, I didn't like this part of the video or oh, you messed up this part or oh, the audio was terrible at this part, you know, things like that to make your videos better. I personally go to my wife and she looks at my videos and she gives me really positive feedback because there's certain things that I do wrong in my videos and that's something that you want is have someone to look at your videos and give you positive criticism. Tip number seven, guys. So tip number seven is be consistent. Upload your videos that you say you're gonna upload. If you're gonna say you're gonna upload every day, stay that way. Upload your videos every day. If you don't, you're gonna lose interest, you're gonna lose viewers, you're gonna lose subscribers. If you only upload once or twice a week, that's, that's cool, there's nothing wrong with that, but stay consistent to that. Actually do what you're gonna say, because I'll tell you what, if you don't do it, your subscribers are gonna start to leave you and they're gonna start to be not entertained as much anymore. And that's actually one thing is be consistent, guys. I cannot say it anymore. That's why I'm being on you guys really hard is you have to be consistent. That is what I've found being successful in order to get my first 100 subscribers is I was starting to be consistent. As soon as I started to get lazy, which is what a lot of people do is get lazy, you, you just lose your passion for YouTube, you lose everything. You lose your viewers, you lose you lose views, you lose subscribers, you lose everything as soon as you lose that. So be consistent, okay? Tip number eight would be have a schedule and act now. Do it. Have a schedule, upload your videos, guys. Be consistent, like I was just saying. Have a schedule, make sure you have that schedule in place when you're gonna upload and act now. Don't be lazy, just just freaking do it. Just go and upload your videos. Even if you think your video is bad or whatever, you're still gonna learn from it. Like I was saying, get someone to watch your videos. But if sometimes what they're saying is is sometimes it's wrong. And you, but you need to have that feedback, but you have to act now, guys. You have to have a schedule and you have to act now and you have to upload those videos and you have to stay strict to it. Because that's the one thing about being successful in YouTube is being strict to yourself and uploading. Tip number nine would be, what are you offering to your channel? What, what is your niche and what are you offering? What can you offer to your viewers? When someone clicks on your video, what are you offering? Like, what advice, what tips, what, what is your channel about? What are you doing in order to make your viewer want to watch more videos? So, what are you all about? That's something you need to find out. Get a piece of paper right now. I'm just gonna tell you guys, get a piece of paper right now, write down what is your channel all about. If you can't answer that question, then you need to rethink things. You need to have a different process. If you can't answer the question of what is my channel all about and what, kind of, and what do I offer, then you need to think about that. You need to get yourself involved in figuring out that answer. Tip number 10, guys. I'm out of tips here. This is tip number 10. The final tip would be to love what you're doing. Just do what you love and do it professionally. Be as good as you can and learn throughout your process. 
even if you suck, you're gonna learn in the long run. I'm telling you, I suck so bad at my first videos. So bad. When I go back and I look at my first video, I go, oh my God, what was I uploading? It doesn't matter, guys. Just be consistent and love what you do. If you're passionate about what you do, I guarantee you your efforts and your learning process and your learning curve will go up and up and up as the more you post your videos. So do what you love. That's, that's one thing I've always said is live, love, laugh, and definitely adventure. That is something that I've always, always said. And that is something that you guys should do. So I really, really hope you guys enjoyed these 10 these 10 tips, I really hope that it helps you out and be, makes you become a better YouTuber. And hopefully you learned something from this. Comment in this section, comment below guys and let me know if you learned something from these tips. And let me know how you're doing. Have you hit 100 subscribers yet? Are you close to 100 subscribers? Let me know how you're doing in the comments below and I'd love to read your comments and I will reply. So if you like this video guys, at least like it. I'd love to get a thousand likes. That would be awesome if I could get a thousand likes on this video. Hit that subscribe button because I'm coming out with more awesome content like this for you guys in order for you guys to learn and get to that 100 subscribers because it's so awesome once you get there guys. It is so awesome. Ah, amazing guys. Thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button, hit the bell button and comment below guys. I love each and every one of you guys and live, love, laugh, and definitely, definitely adventure. And we will see you in the next video. All right, peace out for now.